Hey guys, I'm Sir O, your teacher on the go. Kung bago ko pa lang sa channel ko, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. This video lesson for statistics and probability is all about accepting or rejecting the null hypothesis. Lesson 5. Accepting or rejecting the null hypothesis. The rejection region or critical region is the set of all values of the test statistic that causes us to reject the null hypothesis. The non-rejection region or acceptance region is the set of all values of the test statistics that cause us to fail to reject the null hypothesis. The critical value is a point or boundary on the test distribution that is compared to the test statistic to determine if the null hypothesis would be rejected. For better understanding, let us put it in an example. According to the survey, the average daily usage of social media worldwide of global internet users amount to 142 minutes per day. So, PE use a 0.05 level of significance. Her own survey among her friends to find out if their time spent on social media is significantly higher than the global survey. This is the table Sophia's friends and their respective time spent on social media. Claim A The average daily usage of social media of her friends is the same as the global average usage. Solution Step 1. Identify the given. Population mean is equals to 142. Sample size is equals to 10. Sample mean, standard deviation, and the t-score is unknown. Step 2. Solve for the sample mean. To solve for the sample mean, add all the given and divide it by 10. So, sample mean is equals to 152. Step 3. Solve for the standard deviation. Process in solving standard deviation is already discussed in the previous lesson. Therefore, standard deviation is equals to the square root of 354.8 or 18.84. Step 4. Solve for the t-value. Using this formula, bar x minus mean over s over square root of n. Substitute the given. Then perform the operation. So we have t is equals to 1.6. Step 5. Determine the critical value using the t table. Find first the degree of freedom using the formula df is equals to n minus 1. So we have 10 minus 1. Degree of freedom is equals to 9. Use the t-table to find the critical value. We have df is equal to 9. And we have 0 0.05. So we have 1.833. Step 6. Sketch a t-distribution curve and label showing the rejection area, the shaded part, and the non-rejection area, the critical value, and the computed t-value. As we can see, the computed value is less than the critical value. Null hypothesis. The average online usage of her friends is the same as the global usage. Alternative hypothesis. The average online usage of her friend 
is higher than the global usage. The computed t-value is at the non-rejection area. We fail to reject the null hypothesis. Sample number 2. Sketch the rejection region of the test hypothesis with critical values of positive or negative 1.753 and determine if the computed t-value of negative 1.52 lies in that region. Steps in doing this example, draw a t-distribution curve. Since there are two critical values, it is a two-tailed test. Locate the critical value and shade the rejection regions. The computed t-value is at the non-rejection region. Therefore, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. For more video lessons and tutorials updates, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Muli, I'm Sir O, your teacher on the go. Adios, amigos.